All right, guys. So these springs get fed on to the um, two sections, and then you're just going to twist them on. When you get um, that section filled up, you just clip it off with electric clippers, and you'll be in ending off with something that looks like that. All right. This is just a uh, Springer assortment that I uh, always have on hand for projects, and this is where I get the springs from for the uh, foldable pot stands that I make. Um, this came, I believe, from Harbor Freight. Alright, so once you get it in place, just keep twisting and uh, these springs will ride right into place. Trim off the excess on this particular model. Um, I left a gap on the bottom for a remote fuel feed and also, in lieu of putting hinges all the way around, this one, instead of having uh, six panels, has got five. That way you can uh, get your smaller pots on it. And if you look at this configuration um, with bending um, the ends here, it's very secure. You have to kind of uh, take your time and twist it on in one direction. And, oh, sorry about that. You've got to twist it on in one direction, which is down here. Okay. Yeah. Okay, once you get that one on, then you just go up to the top and um, secure. Alrighty, and of course these nipples for the uh, fuel line are uh, from RC Cars and uh, can be purchased at uh, a hobby store. And um, as well as the uh, silicone hose that I'm going to show you on this stove. Alright guys, so this is a look at the uh, folding pot stand. I made uh, my first one I think it was last year and um, a new friend of mine that I met on YouTube called Craven decided to go in uh, ahead and make one and he did a nice job so it got me thinking that you know what let me uh, go ahead and um, try another fabrication so I was working on, a, on another stove and uh, thought to myself you know what let me make this um, a pentagon instead of a hexagon and let me make some uh, hinges here so that it'll fold even a little flatter. So this is five panels, okay? And as you can see, the springs are placed in a way so that when you fold them on themselves, they don't land on top of each other so that it takes up less space. I don't know if you can see that. So you stagger the springs so that it's more compact, okay? And this is the way I fashioned the hinging system. So you kind of getting in here and fastening the bottom one in one direction and this other hook goes in the other direction and once you apply a little bit of pressure on it it's secure you place it around the stove um, and you can see that demonstrated pretty well with this uh, kettle on there not going anywhere very stable alright so having said that let me give you a look at this stove here um, I believe these are uh, 55 millimeter um, cartridges and uh, you come across these at the Army Navy store guys as you can see. Um, last year I sent this to Smoke Eater 908 and I sent it to Reapers Outdoors and I asked them if they had any, any ideas because they were already machined on how to drill this out and maybe make the, um, the base a little more open to accommodate more fuel and um, I guess it was just easier for um, a lot of the guys to just manufacture them on their lathes the way they were doing. But for people that don't have it, um, if you needed a disaster prepared in a stove, uh, you know, for the preppers that want a couple of stoves, yeah, um, it, it's a little heavy. It's you know, there's a there's a hunk of aluminum there. But ultralight backpackers, of course, are not going to want to use this. But uh, short of that, anyone else, this is a pretty indestructible stove. I'm going to guess that you can. Uh, probably drive over this with your car but um, the problem with hollowing it out was eliminated and here's what I did I just threw one of these together and you kind of just fill it from the top holds probably uh, over an ounce um, about an ounce or so and you can you can certainly use that you know with the pot stand but what I came across was this particular um, training cartridge and what you've got here it's the, the same thing but the bottom portion 
where the where you're putting your charge is removable. So I used an Allen wrench and um, took out this screw from the hole, and upon removing it, found that I could thread one of these RC car nipples directly in with a gasket without an issue. I'm not going to be removing it. Did it go on um, perfectly? Almost. You just needed to apply a little bit of pressure and it probably, it probably cross-threaded very little at the end, but it goes in and it seals and it is sweet. So I figured I'd show you this because there's not a lot of work to it. It looks professional. You could throw this in your pocket, in your pack, anywhere you'd like, and you're not going to have to worry about bending it or anything like that. So if this is something that you're interested in, of course the folding pot stand works really well with it. And um, I'm doing this really low tech. This is just uh, you know a squeeze, a squeeze bottle from Harbor Freight. You're going to squirt in your uh, fuel until you see the base moistening up. You'll probably get a glimpse from the side here of um, the carbon felt saturating as I squeeze the fuel in. And I think I... There we go. It's starting to, there it is. I don't know if you can see it. It's starting to glisten a little bit. So what I do is I normally just turn this bottle right side up and crack the top of it so that the fuel doesn't get sucked out. And um, you're just going to hit it with a lighter and you're going to be good to go. So uh, seems like a pretty indestructible stove. Seems like the stand works great. It's very compact. So if you see these things floating around at the Army Navy store, instead of trying to drill out the bottom like I did, it didn't really work out. Um, the training uh, cartridge that they have with that port on the side, removing that allows you to put the nipple in quite nicely. And um, it looks pretty professional and it's uh, virtually indestructible. Sweet stove. Seems like... Uh a really good match for a um, survival stove whether it be for your home or your truck um, kind of a prepper stove and uh, of course if you don't mind the extra weight of having an indestructible stove certainly you could take it uh, hiking with you you're never gonna break it all right oh yeah that sounds like a uh, boil Sure enough, sweet stove. 